turbulence is a very huge subject and uh, inherently in itself is a difficult subject uh, but uh, i'll try to keep it as simple as possible turbulence is essentially randomness in uh, any flow any natural flow uh, there are bound to be chaotic pressure or velocity changes this is in contrast to laminar flow that is a fluid flow in parallel layers turbulence is caused by excessive kinetic energy in parts of fluid flow and these uh, excessive kinetic energy changes overcome the damping effect turbulence is caused by excessive kinetic energy in parts of a fluid flow and uh, this excessive change in kinetic energy uh, overcomes the damping effect of viscosity so what happens is since there are changes in the kinetic energy ie velocity in the x y or z direction that to randomly this kinetic energy is uh, high enough to overcome uh, a sort of reducing effect of inherent viscosity in air this causes a uh, formation of vortices of many sizes and uh, these vortices in themselves interact with each other and cause drag cases such as a flow over a car any aerodynamic case uh, which you can consider for has this uh, issue of drag and uh, vortices are a main contributor towards this drag um to understand these effects of uh, excessive kinetic energy uh, damping of viscosity and then vortices appearing we try to fit these phenomena into a governing equations and uh, then try to solve for them open form has good libraries uh, for solving turbulence models turbulence is uh, specified in the turbulence properties file in constant directory as we saw earlier the values uh, for so whichever turbulence model you choose be it k epsilon k omega so on so forth the relevant values for k omega epsilon and so on can be specified or should be specified while pre processing in the zero folder open form includes uh, support for the ras and las cases reynolds average simulation and large eddy simulations as well as laminar cases the turbulence simulation types such as uh, k epsilon k omega k omega sst spalla telmeras can all be specified in open form this is a very basic example of a uh, turbulence properties in this particular case this is a case for detonation in a tube uh, here we are using the simulation type reynolds average simulation and the model chosen here is k omega ss in here as we can see the value for k the value for omega the value for nu tilde or turbulence viscosity are all chosen here now i want to briefly go over an example problem that i want to share with you uh it's called the shock tube shock tube is uh, named after gary a sod he was a scientist from the late uh, 60s i believe uh he was heavily investigating uh in coming up with solutions for discontinuous flows namely shock and refraction waves uh in the 1978 uh what he did was he conducted an experimental study and tried to fit the experimental data into a solver shock tube is a sort of a common test uh, for accuracy of cfd codes uh, like uh, riemann solvers the shock tube problem uh, is a uh, very simple in nature it's a it's a rectangular tube and it is divided into two parts at the middle and uh, each part is initialized with uh, different conditions namely the one of the parts might have higher pressure higher temperature and vice versa uh, both sides are divided by a diaphragm experimentally and uh, this diaphragm is removed at uh, time t is equal to 0 and then whatever happens the flow is then analyzed right after we remove the diaphragm we have a high pressure region trying to get into the low pressure region and a low pressure region trying to enter into high pressure region both trying to counteract each other this in itself causes a uh, pressure waves uh, shock waves and uh, rarefaction waves uh, to be formed 
and uh, each of these waves tries to normalize the flow i.e change the higher value to lower value or lower to higher simple example of the geometry that we have chosen uh, this is a temperature contour as you can see on left hand side it's a high temperature zone and on right hand side it's a low temperature zone this is a 3d study this is a, these are the initial conditions uh, if you guys might have noticed uh, earlier as well i forgot to mention the units for pressure in open foam or in this particular case are defined as meter square per second square uh, this here is because open foam considers pressure as a kinematic pressure not static pressure kinematic pressure is basically static pressure divided by density uh, this is done for simplification uh, during equation solving the region one has a higher pressure 10 times more than the right hand side it has more temperature than the right hand side and uh, both of the regions are initialized with uh, velocity uh, zero i.e the flow is stationary so of the run controls namely control deck fe schemes and fe solution in control deck as we can see the application is specified row central form it starts from zero uh, ends at uh, seven milliseconds delta t is chosen as one microsecond uh, solution is written uh, every one millisecond and uh, you can see the several other control variables uh, right precision time precision so on so forth also right here we patch uh, the field variable values namely temperature and pressure set fields dict is a file that is specified in the system directory uh, in here for this particular case we are initializing the entire uh, domain with uh, higher values then patching the lower values onto this box onto the right hand side the region can be chosen uh, as a box or a sphere uh, these can be looked on uh, in open form uh, tutorial right here as we can see the uh, velocity value is uh, chosen zero the flow is stationary uh, right after this we initialize our solution first we run the block mesh uh, function in our terminal and uh, right after that we run the set fields function which patches these values onto our domain and after that we run for our solution uh, simply type in row central form on our terminal of the post processing uh, this is a temperature contour of the shock tube of what is happening here as we can see the low temperature low pressure region on right hand side enter into the high pressure high temperature region on left hand side and uh, we can see the variations around here these are the rare fraction waves uh, these try to increase uh, sorry reduce the pressure and temperature on to the left hand side at the same time on right hand side we can see a high temperature zone entering into low temperature zone this is a uh, inherently a shock wave that uh, tries to increase the pressure to its right hand side this is an example of a velocity plot the x right here uh, defined is a, a line that is taken along the central line of our domain uh, if we see right here the velocity it tries to increase uh, as it goes on left hand side since the refraction waves are uh, entering into the high temperature zone at the same time on right hand side we can see the velocity has a bunch of oscillations and uh, this is because of the shock wave as the shock wave tries to enter into low pressure region it has uh, oscillations on its own and uh, this causes a set of uh, oscillations to be formed in our velocity plot ie it tries to increase the field variables temperature pressure in a step form of formation same goes for uh, temperature and uh, pressure plots the shock wave tries to increase the uh, low pressure low temperature region to high pressure high temperature region and uh, on the left hand side as we can see the temperature is as such so i wanted to talk about why you should opt for this course compressible flow is a uh, very sought after for cfd applications in the industry cfd cfd applications that are required for in the industry uh, are compressible flows open foam in itself provides a very good step uh, towards learning the cfd applications 
uh, open form is a programming language uh, syntax which helps in uh, cfd code development as well as application development open form is a uh, really well sought after in industry for both uh, application based jobs as well as development jobs since uh, open form is relatively simpler to use with its uh, well documented uh, source code as well as uh, easy to understand functions open form has been adding and it already has a vast array of applications uh, recently open form uh, introduced a uh, optimization uh i forgot the type of optimization that in, uh, included i apologize uh what it does is essentially uh, it tries to suggest for changes in shape of your geometry based on uh let's say uh pressure gradients or uh drag that you specify so through open form it tries to uh, sort of uh suggest a change in geometry so as to reduce your drag and uh, this is only a starting step i believe as uh, days go by as we get higher versions of open form and uh, more development is done on it there are bound to be more applications that will come with it um this course will definitely strengthen your basics of uh, basic fluid dynamics uh, compressible fluid dynamics and uh, problem solving capabilities uh, open form is a very good starting point uh, for understanding cft for understanding the inherent nature of uh, what happens what goes through inside a cft solver as you saw before uh, open form is essentially a skeleton sort of a peak under the hood as to what happens in a cfd solver uh one of the major advantages of uh, open form uh, i believe is a uh, open form is very malleable i would assume that uh, many of you have used a uh, ansys fluent if you have uh, in ansys fluent there is a <coughs> sorry in ansys fluent there is a uh, function called uh, udf Uh, namely user defined function in user defined function you can define for your set of initial conditions or your set of uh, boundary conditions and so on and so forth uh open form provides for that control everywhere as in you can write your own custom solver which can be fit for uh, your own uh, study open form provides for a very open sort of a platform for geometry and uh, mesh generation the syntax for specifying uh, your field variables for instance namely the set fields uh, function which uh, patches the values for your field variables wherever required is also very underrated and very essential open form then gives us the freedom to really choose where we want to go i would like to end by saying a few things about cfd itself cfd is not just about running a solution on a computer cfd is not just about uh, selecting a few options and then hitting run and seeing the residual values reduce or increase or whatever cfd study a good cfd study has a good mesh which you check for through the constraints a uh, good skewness uh, factor good uh, orthogonal quality then you choose for the best uh, initial conditions the boundary conditions are especially important in this context afterwards the solver that you choose has to be perfect for your sort of study all the control variables that you need to specify have to be specified otherwise the solution will not be accurate and right after you run your solution uh, the results that you get the beautiful uh, <laughs> contours the beautiful animations so on and so forth they are not to be taken uh, accurately they are not to be assumed accurate cfd is a rigorous uh, iterative process once you are done with one solution you have to conduct multiple studies namely the uh, grid independent study let's say you have to keep increasing the number of uh, mesh cells and try to see if your field variables are changing and if they are not 
then well and good your cft study is a uh, good for your case and right after that you are still not done you have to have to validate your cft study with either experimental data if available or any of the research papers because otherwise you will never know